see if Bill's ready here. Huh? Oh, here he comes now. Say goodbye okay. to Daddy. I really like this town. I love my family and friends, too. That's why when I decided to join the service, I hooked up with the Air National Guard. Okay. You see, the Air Guard has a big job when it comes to protecting the United States, just like all the other services. But the Air Guard gave me something that no other branch of the military could, a chance to protect the things I love most without leaving them behind. Because in the Air Guard, I serve just two days a month, 15 days a year. I train close to home, too. And whenever there's an emergency in my state or my town, you know who they call out, don't you? Me. And the Air National Guard. So in the Air Guard, you've got to be ready for anything. That means you've got to be alert, you've got to be tough, and you've got to be fast on your feet. But if you're not in great shape now, don't worry. The Guard will fix that starting with basic training. Basic training lasts six weeks. It looks pretty grim at first. You see, everything is a problem. The rules, the confidence course. But as you go along, problems become challenges. And the more you work, the easier those challenges are to meet. It's incredible to be able to do things you just couldn't do six weeks earlier. Something else the Air Guard teaches you value of paying attention to every detail. The way you dress, the way you make up your bunk. They get you used to doing everything perfectly. Because when you finally get out on the job, you've got no room for mistakes. You have to keep everything tight and neat and everything in order is so that you will be a well-disciplined, well-trained airman. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Oh, look at me. Mama, look at me. See what the Air Force done to me. See what the Air Force done to me. When you finish basic, what a lift. You feel like you've been given a new life. And in a way, you have. You see, the end of basic is really the start of a new career. Because from here, most of us head off to advanced technical training. It's the very same training they get in the active Air Force. And that's as good as it gets. Thanks to some of the brightest instructors anywhere and some of the most advanced technology in the world. You know, what we gotta have here, we got an analog digital converter that is going bad on it. Connect seven electrical connectors and five coaxial connectors. Control panel, pull it out here and take a look at it inside. This here control panel. Now, Adam. We're going to do back here. I want you to stand back. We're going to make sure we get clear of the pylon, all right? OK, stop. That's good. External power on the aircraft. External power on armor McClinky override in. Switch. Turn on the computer. Enter present position. Then turn on the PMTU. Taken as an analog signal, converted to digital, and then converted back to an analog signal. Starting fuel switch to auto lean. EEC, BUC switch to EEC. When advanced training yeah, is over, off. it's time to show the air guard what you've learned back in your home unit. For some of us, that means going to work, doing the jobs we were trained to do. For others, like the people who train on the Air Guard flight simulators, it means one, one more one test. Buckley Tower, Red Eye 1-1 one one is ready for takeoff. Climb and maintain flight level 200. Roger. The simulator is absolute state of the art. It handles just like a real plane. It just never leaves the ground. It may look like a video game, but believe me, it's no game. Radar contact, climb and maintain flight level 200. Zero, zero. departure, red eye one one is passing 8,000 to 15,000. The pilots and ground crew work on the simulator as if people's lives depended on it. 
because eventually they will. Red Eye 1 1, you're cleared to 210. I show you five miles from the IP. Contact your tanker index 51 on 303.0. Red Eye 1 One thing you learn about the guard, though, whether you work on a simulator or not, you're always learning, always training for the time we may be called on to defend our country. Our mission will be as a flight of six A7s in two ship increments, 30 seconds separation, driving on a heading of 020 degrees to attack this area. The Air Guard protects 65% of the airspace over the US. That's a big job. Too big for a bunch of guys working as individuals. So you find out pretty quick how important it is to work as a team. Aircraft will be carrying six Mark 82 low drag weapons and will attack at an interval of 50 feet. Munitions loaders, field radar guys, ground crews, everybody's got to mesh with everybody else. We may go anywhere in the world, but that never changes. Okay. Okay. Sell that too, buddy. practice to make it look this easy. Lots of practice. But when you see it all come together, you can't help but think this team is unbeatable. Roger, Victor, 
The trick is located along the line of tree banks. Attack from the northeast. Cold red. Five aboard Tango. Show you two miles from the IP point. Run to copy, red two one flight, push it up. Keeping an eye on America, that's our biggest job. But the training that gets us ready to take on the world also makes us the best people to come to the rescue when they need help at home. Guardsmen airdropped feed when thousands of cattle were stranded by a blizzard. They helped rescue survivors when Mount St. Helens erupted too. And all over the country, guard members move out into their communities. They teach, they coach, they heal. They do whatever it takes to make life a little better in their hometowns. I think that's what I like most about being in the Guard, knowing that the people in my community and my state count on me, and knowing that any time I put my uniform on, I've got a chance to be a hero. When a mission's over and your planes come in, it's like watching your kids run home to see you. You love them, you pamper them, and you go home knowing that when you take care of them, you're really taking care of your country. And how's the airplane? Real fine. Good mission. No problems with it? Not at all. All right, code one. Thank you. You bet. Go, sir. Go on. In some ways, the Air Guard is like a lot of other part-time jobs. I put in my time, and I go home, back to my family, back to my regular job. But I'll tell you, I don't know any other part-time job where the work is this important, where you can get this kind of experience, this kind of responsibility, and the kind of satisfaction that comes from working with friends in the Air National Guard. <laughs> 